Hello and welcome to part two in this chapter of Fire Team tutorial series. In the last part we worked on getting the flow of our matches working so we can go into a match and then back into the lobby. However, there are a few issues with the UI that we need to fix. So let's go through how to fix those while at the same time explain how the game mode and player controller swapping system actually works. So to fix our issues with the menu not showing for the client and HUD showing for the client, uh, it's quite an easy fix really to get it to the show uh, and that is just by adding a delay in. So if we go to the lobby HUD here, we'll do this one first and on begin play when you go to create the lobby menu interface, we just want to put a little delay in there and we'll do it just for one second. Let's change that to one and that is all we have to do. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Ooh. Uh, exactly the same thing um, in our in-game HUD as well. So I'm begin play. Just put that in there, delay it a little second whilst everything loads up. And that should now show our UI in our game and show our UI when we return from the lobby. The other thing we need to do is populate the player list. Because if I was to play it now and then return back to the lobby, the player list in my menus would not work. So how to get around this? Well, the lobby game mode is registering who is joining through post login. However, our characters are already logged in. Okay, so that means that this display or update player list here is not going to work. So how do we get around this? Well, there's a function inside a game mode called on swap player controllers. And what this does is basically it is the post login for a seamless travel. It's when a controller rejoins a new game mode through seamless travel. And as you can see here, you get the old player controller and a new player controller. So what we're doing here is we just want to basically replicate what we're doing here on the post login, albeit it doesn't have to be this fancy or anything like that. Um, but on swap player lock controller here, we're going to do the same thing as casting to our lobby controller. That in. And then from our lobby controller here, we're going to add it to our connected players. But we'll make sure... That we're doing with add unique we don't want to add any duplicates in here so add unique and plug that in okay uh next we need to tell it to do this for each loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and put this down here now part of this update player list is another delay if i go in there you'll see it is here this delay is one for one second now, if we're delaying the HUD coming onto the screen for one second and this by one second, that's not ideal because this is actually going to refer to the HUD as you can see here. So we need to give it time for it to appear. So I'm going to delay this one now by two seconds instead. So we'll compile and save this and let's go test this out in game. Yep. Okay, and two windows appear. Again, must be played as standalone. Very important. Um, go to host match and then quick match and so you can see it appear there just fine like this one to come in this one there you go working okay hit launch and we should now see both screens now showing our user interface correctly which is great okay so now i'm gonna just shoot the other guy four times get to the end of the match Three. And one more. There we go. The match end. And then go back to the lobby and we'll hopefully see everything appear as we should. Back to the lobby. Back to menus. No players connected. Okay, so the player list isn't updating. Okay, so we need to investigate this issue so that both the server and client can see who's left in the match. So let's go investigate this issue. So the issue we have is pretty simple, really. We were plugging in this connected player info because we copied it over from our on post login, but we haven't populated it on this swap here. You have to imagine that this is happening at a different place than this post login. So that player information does not yet exist. So what I'm going to do is going to make some space before my for each loop on my swap player controllers in my lobby game mode. 
and basically we're doing this setup here so we're going to take all of this and we'll take all of this and copy that and bring it down here it's basically the same thing and bring that up plug that in plug this in and that will belong to the new player controller there too so our swap player controllers we're going to get the player controller get the player state get their name and populate the player info um in that right no that's right yeah that's right uh set player info target would need to be set to our lobby controller though um and then the add here to adding it to array which is then used for our four weeks loop so let's try this again this time with that now plugged in so hit play and you go in our match okay so we go host match you can see this here quick match yeah hit launch there we go now i can push the player four times okay. one more there we are and wait for it to finish go back to lobby and there you go repopulating our game modes uh, our player sorry into our game mode here and i can click launch the game again to go back into the game and do another round there we have it we've now got our working ui working nice and smoothly and we've got a full a full flow coming from the main menu to lobby the game back to lobby then back into game and so on and so forth in the next episodes we're going to be starting work on our xp system and displaying this at the end of the match so the player isn't just presented with just a match end they actually get something to look at at the end of each round to watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash ryan lady we can watch all my videos early before everyone else from just one dollar a month thank you to all my patrons and youtube members for their continued support in the channel so thank you for watching hit subscribe and i'll see you next time bye everyone i'm ready to play now put me in the game now i came here to prove it i'm ready to do it i can't be afraid now put me on the stage now i'm ready to rage now i feel like an animal stuck in a cage and i'm ready to break out my time my time none of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time you better get ready to race to the top ready to do this show you what the truth is i step on the field it's time to get real i'm feeling so ruthless my time my time none of you people can tell me to stop lower the lights down